Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are learning how to make the blackberry salad stitch. It's a lovely cluster stitch which has a really nice texture. It's a great stitch for baby blankets and can be worked in a variety of weights and colors of yarn. For this tutorial, I'm going to use medium weight cotton yarn and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. To start, we make a slip knot and a foundation chain in multiples of 4 plus 3. So you have 16 chains as multiples of 4 and I've added 3 more chains. Now we'll skip those 3 chains because they will be considered as our first double crochet and make one more double crochet in that 4th chain from our hook. Yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through 2 and yarn over, pull through 2. That's a double crochet. Again, yarn over, insert in the next chain, yarn over, pull through 2, yarn over, pull through 2. Now make double crochets in every chain of the foundation chain and I'll meet you back at the end. Once you're done with row 1, for row 2, chain 1. This chain 1 does not count as a stitch. Now make one single crochet in the first stitch and in the second stitch. Now in the third stitch, we make a 5 double crochet cluster. Let's see how to do that. Yarn over, insert in that third stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, 3 loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through 2. Stop right there. Now repeat this exact same thing 4 more times. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through 2. Yarn over, insert in that same stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through 2. 2 more times. my hook so I will yarn over and pull through all those six loops so now you'll just repeat making three double crochets and a five double crochet cluster till you have two stitches left on your row two and when you have two stitches left make two single crochets in those last two stitches once you are done with row 2, this is how our stitch looks like. The 5 double crochet clusters give a really nice texture to the stitch. And using the single crochets, it balances those clusters very nicely. Now for row 3, we start with chain 3, which counts as our first double crochet. So we'll skip that first stitch right below the chain 3 and we'll start with the next stitch making a double crochet so 
For this row, it's really simple. We'll be working double crochets on top of every stitch. So make sure you're counting your stitches. So begin row 4, chain 1. Chain 1 does not count as our stitch. And then starting from the very first stitch, please make 4 double crochets. double crochet in that first stitch next in the second one four double crochets in the first four stitches once we have four double crochets in the next stitch we we'll make the five double crochet cluster stitch just like that one And remember, when you have six loops on your hook, you will yarn over and pull through all those six loops to finish that cluster stitch. Now make three single crochets in the next three stitches, one in each stitch. So that's one, two, and three. I repeat making one cluster stitch followed by three single crochets in the next three stitches till you are left with four stitches at the end of the row. Here I'm at the end of row four with four stitches left. So in those four stitches we make four single crochets, one in each of those four. The fourth will be the turning chain from the previous row, so make sure you don't forget that. And after row four, this is how our stitch looks like. Now for row five, we'll chain three. Chain three counts as a stitch, that is our first double crochet. And for row five, we'll repeat row three, that is making double crochets all across row 5. So skip that first stitch starting from the second stitch. Make double crochets on top of each stitch. So from here on just repeat rows 2 to 5 over and over till you get the desired length of your project. So that was it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it easy to follow. If you have any questions you can contact me on my Instagram at crochetzika. And if you like the video, do like, share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.